The Obama recovery has been the slowest recovery in modern times. And the question is, why? Well, it's simple. This administration is more focused on growing government than growing the economy. Those who supported Dodd-Frank have been more concerned with helping special interests in Washington than their constituents back home, and the proof is in the numbers. They don't lie. Fewer people have returned to the workforce than any other modern recovery. Banks are closing every week, and the number one cause that I hear from people back in Wisconsin is the excessive, crushing, regulatory burden imposed by this administration. When I go back home to my districts every, uh, to my district every week uh, and talk to my local community bankers who are telling me that, you know, Stephen, uh, Washington just doesn't get it because the people at the top are not being harmed as much as the folks at the bottom. They're, they're the ones that can't get loans anymore because Dodd-Frank has made it impossible for the banks to be able to loan these guys money. I share, I think, a, a great concern with many of my colleagues that with the institutionalization of Dodd-Frank that we are seeing an incredible overreach that's going to be impacting uh, the freedom uh, that this country has been built upon to be able to have great entrepreneurialism, to be able to create jobs. When I'm hearing comments that uh, we are having a recovery, I'm uh, strictly reminded that uh, we have the lowest labor participation rate in four decades. The burden of compliance under Dodd-Frank will result in a reduction of nearly $900 billion in GDP over the next 10 years, which is despite the adverse effects of Dodd-Frank, both on costs and economic growth, has it fully protected us from future financial crises? Uh, no, I, I, I think not at all. 